vector map let's take a look at our material editor and we're going to try out our vet vector map so down here in diffuse we're going to go to the next to the color swatch right next to it we're going to pick on our mapping button we're going to come down and choose on our vector map in our list of uh, mapping say okay now we're going to come up into our vector file and we're going to go out to um, we're going to pick on any kind of a file that's a vector based graphic so a vector based graphic is things that are things like Adobe Illustrator um, we can go with a PDF uh, so things of that nature we can even go with an ACAD pattern hatch um, so I got this PDF file right here I'll say OK and I'll place that on there and I can change the sample type here to square if I like and you can see I can actually magnify that so here I have a PDF file of a, of a sketch and now what I want to do is I want to go back up to go to my parent and I could change all those uh, properties so you can see here I have a mapping applied I can change all my tiling etc here but I'm just gonna go up and I'm gonna come over here into my viewport I'm gonna create a box and I'll select it and I'm going to assign that material to the box but then I gotta come over here and say show shaded material in viewport I'll click that on and you can see how that um, that vector based graphic gets applied uh, to the object so the most common of vector based graphics could be Adobe Illustrator it could be Autodesk sketchbook uh, things of that nature um, uh, in this case it's just a simple PDF